Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be showing you a trick with the iOS version of the Dropbox app that would be on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you showing you how to open different types of files on Dropbox. And while it may seem pretty elementary, there's actually a couple tricks involved, and I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, it, this is my Dropbox folder and file hierarchy. You can see all my folders. I have a couple files here. For files that can be opened natively in an iPod Touch, and that would be an image file like the screenshot here or the PDF, it's pretty simple. All you do is find the file and then you tap on it. So I'm going to tap on this image file, and it's going to generate me, it's going to generate a quick preview. You can zoom in and do all the things that you usually do with uh, with um, you know, viewing photos. So you can pinch and zoom and do other tricks like that. PDF is the same thing. It will open it right away. But it's a little bit more tricky when you're using a format that's not native to the iPod Touch. And here's what happens. So this is an EPUB file. It's kind of large. And I want to open it up on this device. So what's going to happen is it's going to download it first. And by the way, if you have a, an iPhone or an iPod Touch, Dropbox does not store all of your full, full folders and files like it does on your desktop version. It just sh stores an index, and then you can uh, select the photos you want to download and open. So in this case, I've downloaded the EPUB file, but it says unable to view the file. And it says this file type can't be viewed. And you can click on that little link. And it will give you a little message saying, oh, the viewable files, uh, you have to find out what type it is and open it up, blah, blah, blah. But that's not much help. But there is a trick to open. So it says you can export it to another app or something like that. What you really need to do is when you get a message like this, tap the button that's in the lower, the icon that's in the lower left-hand corner. It looks like an arrow going into a box. And it looks like a download icon, but actually what it means is it will show if there are if there are apps available that can read this file, it will show you what they are. So iBooks is an app that can read EPUB files. This is an app that I installed separately uh, when I got this particular iOS device. So just tap that. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to use iBooks to open up that file. And here's, here's the file. So it was able to open it up, but there was a little trick involved. For more information, go to in30minutes.com. And again, this particular selection is from the book Dropbox in 30 Minutes. Thanks very much.